This isn't going to work well. <laughs> it's fun. All right, rail fans. Well, the day has finally come and we're going to tear this thing down and get it out of here. If I sound a little tired, I am a little tired. I'm just going to start tearing all this out. I'll narrate what I can. Um, and now we'll take some shelves down, I think. So I got the uh, top shelf down, got the brackets off the wall. Um, and it's been about 8 o'clock at night here right now. But uh, we still have work to do this evening. So let's see if we can just pull one of these things out, huh? And, uh, well, I guess we can. I'm gonna get the rest of these out of here right now. All right, it's Friday night, November 16th, and I've worked a full day of work. Normally like to relax and get ready for tomorrow's episode of Track Smack, but uh, instead, we're gonna tear the layout down a little bit further, and we're gonna take the structures off beginning back here at uh, Brownsville. So. I'm just trying to stack this stuff in here neat enough where I can pack some stuff around it and hope nothing gets destroyed. Okay, this one we're going to have to pack with extra special care. This is the uh, my coal trestle. Now, I'm not exactly certain where I'm going to be able to fit this in in the new place, but I got to tell you, uh, all those details with the cables and the doors and everything, um, I just need to make sure I don't get this one damaged. All right, there's your tortoise switch motors, your AR1, your BD4, DCC, DS64. That was the whole brains of uh, the DCC system and the automated turnouts. Just sitting there in a pile right now. But I should be able to go over there and lift up on one side and watch the scenery just disassemble on this end. So we're going to... Well, it's just a little bit on the heavy side. I had Cindy Brown, the first lady of Model Railroad, uh, help me move this out of the hobby room, but I am moving this myself this morning. This piece is easy. Well, I uh, just made a turn and um, one part of the layout fell over on to the logging camp side of the layout. Uh, crap. This is my shop. It's where all the magic happens. Hey, welcome to my office in the uh, <laughs> temporary home. Ugh of the Brownsmith Railroad. Well, everything's pretty much cleaned off, but we still have the famed Helix Complex to deal with. Now listen, don't give me crap about my Helix Complex, all right? It would have worked, it was a great plan, and I have some cool Helix stuff I'm gonna do on the new layout. So until you've tried a Helix Complex, don't knock a Helix Complex. All right, so I just had a fabulous dinner prepared for me by my wife, Cindy Brown, the queen of keto, and actually got an energy level back uh, just in time. But let me show you what we got done so you see the way this looks as my dog runs by what used to be a hobby room. Well, the downside about packing away all your tools is you packed away all your tools. This is what we got. I hope you don't mind, but I decided to have a brewski while I'm getting all this done. You know, it's uh, this is not the fun part of modern railroading. Two and a half years of blood, sweat, and tears and videoing and everything, and then what I'm all I'm left with is this this crappy uh, wall behind me that is just full of holes and miscellaneous paint and staples. I've got to clean all of that up to make good for the new buyer. So um, for the rest of tonight, I'm just gonna clean out some more junk off the floor here, and then next time we see each other, you'll probably uh, be seeing me transport this stuff to the shop, 
<sighs> You're probably gonna watch me patch these walls because you guys wanted to know everything that's going on in here. Yeah, I get to see it all because I don't have any time for any valuable content, so that's what you get. So anyway, for those of you still sticking around, watching what's happening, I salute you. And uh, this one's on you, baby. Ah, let's get back to work. <laughs>